Hello, hello everybody, this is Trina. Uh, it's been quite a while since I've done an unboxing or a what's in my box, so here I am. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. Now this is from the, um, let's see, right in here, here we go. From the Seasonal Expressions 2 um, catalog and this one is free so I might be doing a giveaway and I'm thinking since I got the new sequins I might just add in a little bit of a sequin you know a couple of sequin packs little sequin packs just to give a little uh, sneak peek of the um, sequins I love the sequins I just love them in my projects and everything so um, this one is a free one because I got it with my order and so I'm very excited about these because these were some of the things that I couldn't get on my last order um, but I could get this time so yes um, thank you guys for um, thank you to those who order through me I really appreciate it I am very very excited about this so um, uh, and I can't wait to show you guys you know show you guys how I use these so Let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, we have the loose sequins. These ones are craft, called Crafty. And um, I'm gonna kinda just give a close up and hopefully the shine is not too bad. But you can see that they have little flowers in here in different sizes. They have little tiny ones like over here and then they have bigger ones. They're little black flowers. And then there's some pinks. I know that's not even really a pink color. But that is the true color there. And then we've got, I mean, it is a very, it is a mixture of a lot of different colors. Um, mostly blues and greens, which is awesome. It's got some yellows in there. Um, we've got some that are just the basic, I don't know if I can pour this out without making a big mess, but um, this might be better to show you guys. But you can see that we have some iridescent colored ones, and then we have some that are not. And look at how tiny those things are. They're so little. But yes, we have some uh, iridescent, non-iridescent, and I love that mixture because every project, you know, kind of requires something different. So, and we have white, and we have the black flowers, and the green. Oh, I love that. There's like a lagoon green that is, or emerald. That is so pretty. And then the itty bitty ones. Look at the itty bitty flowers. They're so cute. Okay. So that is the Crafty Sequin Pack. Um, as I said before, I'm so excited about them that I might just do a giveaway with the catalog and maybe some little packs of these as a, you know, just a sneak peek. Share the, share the excitement. So that is the crafty ones. Now they also came out with rose gold. They already have gold and they already have silver. So I'm, I'm not sure if I'll add those into a little pack of those each, but um, these ones are very much like the gold and the silver. They have um, different tones, different sizes, and they even have stars. So I'm not sure what that is. That's like a Oh my goodness, that is a lot. Look at, I got a little chunk of, I don't know if you can actually see that or not, but it's a little chunk of them. They're all stuck together, but there's a lot of them in there, so that's a lot of them. Wow. But you can, I don't know if you can see that, but it is so pretty. I love the color tones. There's some peachy colors in here, which will work for peach tones, and then some that are look a little more on the coppery side or bronzy side. They're just, I just love their, their colors. And this is not silver. It's just like a really light uh, rosy gold color. But these it would be great for fall. Definitely great for fall. Or anything that require, that you want to use rose gold on. Because they definitely scream rose gold. So, But again, they have the different sizes. They have stars in this one. Uh, come on, we can do it. Oh, that's not going to work. Okay, we're just going to have to fling them in there with my fingers here. And they have itty bitty stars in, that really like to stick to your fingers. Come on. 
So I don't know if you can see that little guy. It's kind of hard to see, but I don't know if I can get a shine on him. He's right here, and he's itty bitty. There he is. There he is. You can kind of see him right there. He's so tiny. And I've got another one stuck on my, my other finger. Come on. Oh, goodness. They really like to stick. I'll tell you what. I'm going to have to edit that out. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. So that is the gold, or the rose gold sequins. And, of course, one of them snuck its way out. Um, two of them stuck their way out. Little boogers. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get on with my stamp sets. So this is called Thanks for Being You. And it has um, thank you, which I love thank yous. Uh, love you, thanks. Um, check boxes, circle boxes, um, checks, X's, um, a line. Um, thanks for being because a, I mean, it has a an, um, thing you did, said, army, nothing, other, and friendship, sister, brother, best friend, mom, dad, awesome, you know, gift, all of those kinds of great words that we can use, especially for, for scrapbooking, because there's a lot of uh, titles, but there's not really much for in between the title, titles, and I don't use a whole lot of stickers for, like, word stickers um, in scrapbooking, so... Um, I love that I have the option of these stamps so that I can put, um, like, uh, like say I have a title that's big and it says amazing, I can say you're amazing or thanks for being amazing or something like that and I have the words for that. So that is one of the things that I'm excited about for that one. Um, why thank you. And this one is a little stamp set and, um, as you can see, I mean, it's pretty pretty obvious what it is. Why, well, thank you. And I thought that would be a great sentiment for the center of a card. Um, this one is a hostess reward. So if you host a Close to My Heart party, you can, and you get up to 150, you get, you can use your, what you, um, the hostess rewards on your stamp sets if you would like. I decided I wanted to get this one. It's so cute. And the, um... I don't want to use the new one. Mine's right here. So um, the new, let's see if I can find it. That's not there. Let's see. Here. Isn't that cute? It's so adorable. I just love it. And it has a bow tie and it has, or a bow tie and a bow so you can make it gender, whatever gender you want it to be. Granted, I mean, some girls do wear bow ties and all that kind of stuff, but you know what I mean. You, that, you can make it work for anything. So, um, it also has the triangles for party hat. You could also, it has triangles for a banner. I gotta take this out so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Um, it has the triangles for a banner, but you could also flip those over, add the pom-pom, and make it a hat of, you know, pattern. So that's kind of cool. And it's hip hip hooray. Let's have a hippo party miss. And happy birthday. I thought it would be adorable for a, like a baby, um, a baby uh, card. Congratulations, baby card. I would have to bring in another one, you know, just, just for the congratulations and all that. But I thought that would be cute. So this is hippo party miss. Um, Hostess Reward stamp set. And then this one is the Scenic Root. And um, I have been using the Into the Wild um, collection from Close to My Heart um, also. And it is very outdoorsy. And I, we, I have so many camping photos. And I really need to, I'm really wanting to get back into scrapbooking. So um, I thought this would be perfect. So we've got, this one is the scenic route. And it's got like go wild, our travels, the scenic route, get lost, our adventure. Um, now the ones here that look like they have a frame, it's not the frame. So there is no frame there because that is to coordinate with the art booking cartridge, which I don't have, but I, you can cut, you can, I can cut those on. Um, it tells me what size to cut it at. So, um, I can cut that on my, uh, cameo if I wanted to. And then we've got like, love this place and the mountains and the great outdoors and, you know, uh, happy trails. So, and then arrows, which are actually the arrows, um, but they also uh, coordinate with the art booking cartridge. So um, I find that pr 
pretty awesome and this geo geotag is pretty awesome as well I do think we have different ones in different sizes and different stamp sets that we have um, so that's kind of exciting because then I can mix and match that um, I could even do two two adult geotags and three little geotags if I wanted to to represent our family um, and then maybe even two tiny ones because we have two cats and maybe even a tinier one if they have such a thing for um, my our fish um, so this particular um, this one here is the world is yours and this was available in May it is no longer available that I know of actually you know you might be able to find this in the going soon um, section uh, this is the paper pack. Um, it was the um, May special, and I wanted this so bad, and so I was so excited when I got enough orders to actually get this with my hostess rewards. I was so excited and thankful because um, right now things are really tight, so I don't have the money to you know get the things that I want. Um, so I am really excited when I get orders in and earn hostess rewards on my, you know, under my, um, party. And, um, so thank you guys who ordered, um, through my party. I really, truly appreciate it. Um, but this is, um, the sticker, um, the sticker page. And I just love this, this color combination. It's so pretty and neutral and... I don't know it's just I really love it so this is a whole like 12 by well, I think it might be yeah it's a 12 by 12 sheet of um, stickers um, they're nice sturdy stickers and then we have a piece of craft cards or two pieces of craft cardstock um, with hearts aren't those adorable I just love those hearts they're so cute um, on the zip strip and I think I'm, for the papers I might just go ahead and pull it out of the box um, maybe. I don't want to run anything over. Okay. Um, so yeah, as you can see, there we go. And this has two sheets of vellum here in, um, it's like a leaf pattern, leaf sprig. Now this one you could totally use for winter. You could use it for summer. You could use it for, uh, fall. I mean, you could use this year round technically. This is a great vellum for year round. And then it's got a zip strip as well, which is a great idea. And then there's two pages here. I love this. I just love it. I don't know why they did. I just, I love how they did, I mean, the colors. And then the zip strip is adorable. It's so cute. Okay, so, um,. Uh, if this is available, I will definitely put the link down below um, for it in the description box. Um, and that is the back side. It's a warm chocolate. Uh, I think they actually, this one's actually espresso now. Um, paper. Look at those colors. Don't they go great together? It's just, oh, I love it. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then we have this one here. And this is just the paper pack. Um, I didn't really need any of the stamp set or anything to go with it because I have, like, this would go perfect with this stamp set or with this paper collection. So I thought, you know what, I don't really need the whole thing, which is awesome because they do give you different ways to purchase them. But you can kind of see how these go together. They're so pretty. You can cut this one out if you wanted to and use the little... Um, uh, suitcases. I don't generally use it. I guess we use suitcases for camping. We do take our suitcases because it's better. It's um, easier to pack than using bags. Bags just get really clumpy and like to fall. So. And then this one, which is great. This would be great for a um, thank you for teachers appreciation week. Um, we didn't do anything this year. Actually, my daughter just grabbed something for one of her favorite teachers, but um, uh, that would be great for that. Um, or a school page, even. This but this combination would be great for a school page, uh, to be honest. And that's the zip strip up there. So cute. 
And then we have this one here. It's a, just like with um, the other paper packs, you get two of each. Um, oh my gosh, that is so pretty. <laughs> I, I glanced through it really quick um, when I was in a hurry. And I'm not in a hurry. And so now that I see it, it's like, wow, that is so pretty. So um, I will, yeah, this is the whole sheet of this one here. Isn't that pretty? It's got the darker watercolor up here. And then it's got the leaves down here. It's so gorgeous. And then this one. I just love this one. It's so pretty. I just love it. Just love it. And I we're not even to the last one. Wow. Okay, so then we've got this one here. And that's the whole page there. Now you could do all kinds of things. You can cut the trees out and just use the trees. You can cut the bottom hat or bottom part of this out and just use the bottom and stick that on something else. Um, you could use it as a whole sheet. I mean, you could use it as a card. You can cut out the center and just use that in a um, project. I don't know. There's so many things that you can do. And then this color is so pretty. And it, that's not even a mint. That's, I think that one's, oh, maybe it is mint. That's not mint. That's like a sage, a sage color or something like that. Anyways, but that is the, let's see if I can pull that. There we go. Look at the little sailboats. Aren't they cute? Perfect for summer and travel. Definitely for travel. Now this is the last page in this one. It does not have a cut apart sheet, but it does have the full sticker sheet. Um, that coordinates perfectly. So we've got this one, and I don't know where this is, but, um, or if it is an actual, like, place, but it's pretty cool looking. It's a map. And then the back side is little trees. They're so adorable. So adorable. And then I was going to show you guys at the top, going places unforgettable. What a great day and good times ahead those are all perfect for scrapbooking so that is the the world is yours um paper pack again um check in the um going soon or i don't think it would be in clearance yet but probably going soon um collection uh or the collection I guess it's kind of a collection of things that are going soon but it's a tab on close my close my heart website um, if you have any questions or need help finding it um, I will just comment or let me know message me whatever and I will try to find it for you and um, I can also I can also look around and see if um, other consultants have it if it's no longer in the shop so shop in the, on, on the website. So this is Craft On. Now this one is very vibrant and very cheery and very um, crafty. It has a lot of craft, uh, craft things in it. So this is the cut apart sheet. As you can see, fairly decent size. And they do have a pair uh, or a um, pack of uh, thin cuts that have scissors and pencils and um, all different kinds of things that have to do with uh, crafting that coordinate perfectly with this. So um, uh, I can leave the link below for those as well. This is the back side. It is a yellow, uh, I want to say plaid, plaid, gingham, plaid, plaid, I think plaid. And then that's the zip strip. Very cheerful colors. I think I might cut those apart and use those in a card, like a patchwork quilt kind of card. I don't know, we'll see. And then we've got polka dots for one side, and then this black with uh, florals. And I don't know if you can see from there, but those are all definitely little pink florals and pink and white florals. And then that's the zip strip. It's a beautiful zip strip. And then here is the next one. And this one has like stitches on it, like faux stitching. That's pretty cool. And then the back side is these leaves, are these leaves. And then I think maybe that's 
asking him. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like it's supposed to be houndstooth, but it's not actually houndstooth. So there's that one. And then this one is definitely something you could use as a full sheet, um, cut into pieces, or you can cut each piece out and use it as an embellishment. You could even color them and use them as embellishments too. You could also add, you know, smooshes of color, or you can color them in whatever you like. Um, but so that you can kind of, I'll hold it still for you guys. So you guys can kind of get an idea of what's on there. And then the hearts that are in this one are actually in this one as well. And it's got a little vine up there at the top. And then these are little stitched hearts. Now you could totally stitch these hearts if you wanted to. Um, they are pretty small, so I'm not sure how well that you'd have to use a tiny needle and um, very little thread. So um, keep that in mind um, if you do that. Definitely want to go on the tiny because the X's are pretty small. And then this is the next one, and it is so pretty. Now this one is wild for me. I don't know how I would use this one, but it's got all kinds of words on it. But that I think that is the Carolina or Bluebird color. Mm, look. Sorry for the noise, but it's my turntable thing. I'm thinking this one's Carolina. Emerald, the green is the emerald color, and then the words are Carolina, but yes. We've got um, do what makes you happy, made with love, live a creative life, dream of cute stuff, no place like um, something. No place else I'd rather be. Um, so yes, there's lots of crafty words on there, and the zip strip is adorable. Okay, and then we've got, I think this one's the last one. Yes, this is the last one. So this one is a, it's got kind of got a faux stitch in the middle of the blue stripe, the Carolina stripe. And then we have a, it's like a polka dot, but it's buttons, which is adorable. And then I love this one. I just love this one. This one's so, so pretty. I love both of these. These are two of my favorite. I've got a, I've got several favorites in here. And then some that are like, I don't know how I'm going to use that. But I guess we'll figure it out. Huh? So, uh, yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I just love it. I'm, I'm, I am normally, naturally not attracted to these, like, uh, vibrant pops of color. But everything has its place and this one I don't know what it is there's there's a good balance in it and so my eye tends to like it but um and this one I believe I've already if you've seen my project um or my launch project launch kit launch kit I believe my launch kit um haul or unboxing um this is the Sweet Girl collection, and I did do this on there, but I will do it again just because um, I'm not using it for launch kit this time. I actually liked it so much that I decided to get a second one um, because I used a lot of it on the launch kit. In fact, these two sheets took up, they took up the whole thing with the launch kit, or uh, with the launch project launch kit project and then whatever I had left over of these I used on my planner on my home planner so I wanted to get this again so that I can actually scrapbook it because I have a lot of pictures of my girls that would go well my youngest girl that would go great with this and some family members as well so um, I definitely wanted to um, get this but it is so, I mean, it's just, I just love this paper. I was so sad that it used up all of this paper, but I am glad that I was able to get another, you know, another pack of it. So, um, that, and then this one here, and this one, this one, um, I, I'll, I, I might link down to the project that I used this one on. Um, I might link both projects, both of the scrapbooking projects. Um, from there you can see my cards and all that kind of stuff because I made, um, I think there was seven projects in the card, uh, or seven cards in the project, in the projects because it was like, uh, maybe it was not, 
Maybe it was seven. Maybe it was nine. I cannot remember. I cannot remember for the life of me. I can't remember. Okay, so there's a zip strip. And then, oh. now this one will, because this is a regular collection um, uh, and not a special, it will have a cut apart sheet, which I did use a lot of as well. So that's the main sheet there. And then the pattern on this one and the zip strip. And that is a peach color. And then we have this here, which is like a chevron kind of, I don't know, it's like an arrow chevron kind of thing going on. Um, and then we have one of my all time favorite pages. It's so cute. The little pink lines down there. And then that's the zip strip for that one. And then we are almost, let's see, we've got two more. These are the grays. You know, you've got your cool gray and you've got your warm tone gray. And I honestly did not use this on anything, I don't think. I used the zip strip, but I don't think I used this particular one. So this one, see, this is one of the things that you could totally use this with the Into the Wild paper pack that, I, um, that I've been using in my home planner. Um, it's got, uh, it features the sapphire tones is, or color as well, and the grays. And so I think this would go perfect with that collection as well. So that is one of the things that I really love about these, um, the way that Close to My Heart does their paper uh, and their collections. So this is the paper with the little top there. It's so dainty. Um, and then the watercolor uh, kind of a vertical stripe vertical diagonal stripe and then this is the cut apart sheet it has lots of different florals and stars and uh, sayings and all kinds of things so and look at him isn't he adorable little porcupine or hedgehog probably a hedgehog totally a hedgehog <laughs> so um but yes so um I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, I, if you guys are interested in any of these I or the other um, uh, collections we have going on and new products um, in the Seasonal Expressions 2 catalog, I will go ahead and leave the link down below to shop as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys have a lovely June. So I will talk to you guys later. Thank you.